Hey guys, Ali here. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Three Brothers. I've heard a ton about these guys. They are blowing up on social media. I've checked out their Instagram. Looks pretty cool. A load of you have actually told me. Oh, it's just behind me here. You can just about see it there. Three Brothers. A load of you have told me to review this place. So I'm going to go inside. They've got a few items that I've not really seen at a takeaway before. So I'll obviously go in and go over those items. Looks really interesting. Looks really unique. Super excited to get inside because it's a little bit cold, a little bit wet, and just a little bit windy. So I want to get inside and get some food for you. Let's start that review. Okay, guys, so I'm inside taking a look at the menu. I am hyped to show you this, guys, because, okay, so they've got uh, some obviously, you know, classics like smash burgers, you know, things of that nature. However, they've got some really cool stuff. So something I'm going to get is actually a Jalfrezi burger. I defy anyone to find a Jalfrezi burger in Manchester. I've never seen that. That'll be uh, two patties with their own Jalfrezi sauce. We've got some cheese on there as well, some pickles. That sounds fantastic. Even their doner section, actually, it's not just, you know, they do have a standard doner kebab, that's great. But then they've got like a Naga doner, which I've, I've never had before. They've got a loaded Naga box. You've got Jalfrezi doner and Madras doner. What it looks like is the different sort of doner items they have are actually all flavored really, really differently, which is interesting. So while, like I said, they've got the classic doner kebab, they've actually done some interesting stuff with it. So I'm gonna try and get something from there as well. And they've got things here, like I've just not seen, like Naga wings. I don't remember the last Naga wings I had in Manchester actually. So that's super interesting as well. I'm gonna try and get, as always, a few bits and bobs from the menu to do a, a good review for you guys. But just before I start the review, if you haven't already, make sure you like this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more. I've got a ton of videos coming over the next couple of weeks. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay guys, so the food is here and there's so much food here. I'm gonna have to navigate my camera around the food. I wish you guys could actually smell the food. It smells phenomenal. They've got a really wide array of dishes as well. Like I mentioned earlier, I've got something classic, like a classic burger. However, they've got some really interesting flavor combinations as well. So, and some things that I've honestly just never seen before. So I am really excited just to tuck in, so I'm gonna crack on right now. I'm actually gonna start with Donchos. Now, who has heard of Donchos? I defy anyone find any restaurant that serves these. So these are really cool. So you've got some doner meat. That's the don part of the donchos, I'd imagine. It's done to some nachos. You've got some melted cheese there. You've got some jalapenos as well. And just to finish it off, they've got their own house special sauce as well. Oh, this just looks awesome. Do you know what? I don't know why I'm forking this actually. They're like nachos. I see doner and I think fork, but they're like nachos. So I'm just gonna pick one up. Oh, wow. Hey man, never did I think Donna and cheese, like nacho cheese, with like nachos would go well, but the crunch from the nacho, the softness of the Donna, that is unbelievable. Look, if I'm going to like a cinema when things reopen, I want that. I want that in the cinema, that's phenomenal. But there's so much to get through, I wanna crack on, but that was awesome. I love the actual house sauce as well. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Let's now move on to the classic burger. Oh, this has got a double patty, there's some cheese in there, there's some onions in there as well, grilled. There's a bit of lettuce and salad. It looks fantastic. It feels, it feels so hefty. I'm loving the sauces. The patties are pretty good as well, actually. I'm hoping the other burgers have these patties with just lots of flavor, like Jalfrezi, things like that. It's so interesting, but that is a tasty burger too. But those nachos, man, I want to I stop the review and go back to the nachos. <laughs> I mean, I'm just looking at these two just massive burgers. They smell unbelievable. I wish YouTube has a new function or something where I could like transport the smell to you because they look awesome, right? But they smell even better. I'm gonna go for those in a second. The next thing I think I'm gonna go for are some of these Naga wings. They've got a good portion size here. I'm not quite keen to try these because I had Naga for the first time a few weeks ago in Oldham in a place called Food Junkie. And I just really liked the flavor. That was genuinely the first time I'd had Naga. So I'm excited to try these now. So, you know, as it sounds and as it looks, these are some fried wings dipped in their own Naga sauce. Let's give it a go. I imagine there'll be a fair amount of spice in there. It looks saucy. They're actually not as spicy as I expected, which is a good thing because the actual flavor of the Naga actually comes through much, much more like my mouth isn't just burning for the sake of it. They've definitely got heat to them, like for sure, because I really want to drink my milkshake. <laughs> There's definitely heat there, but it's not overpowering, which is very, very good. I'm actually stuck. I don't know what to go for next. I just want to eat this Donna Nachos, to be honest. <laughs> We've got a Donna Kebab here. This looks absolutely phenomenal. They've got a naan, which I can tell is fresh. They've made it in store. I'm just going to defer to the menu because there's so much here. So this, like I said, is the Donna. This is actually their stir-fried Donna. And it looks like it's... 
But yeah, so it's sauteed with onions, peppers, and they're, again, their own special house sauce. What I like is the bread is actually, it looks like it's made in-house, it looks fresh. I always find a good naan really makes a donna. Like if you have great donna meat but the naan is dead, it kind of just takes a lot away from it. This bread looks... Dip that into some curry. Oh. Let's actually try the donna. The portion here is massive. Again, it should sort of worth reminding you guys, I always ask for the food to be made in the way that you guys would get it. So the portion for this looks really, really big. It visually looks fantastic. Let's try it. That's so inventive, that's so different. What they've basically done is gotten a decent donna kebab meat, right? Which is the first step. They've made their own bread, which is delicious. They've sauteed it, it's really nice sauces, and just kind of elevated. A simple donna kebab, but they just elevated it. That man. Oh, that's, if I did a like top five video for donna kebabs in Manchester, which is probably coming because a lot of you have asked for it, this would 100% feature. Even though they do do a, they do do like a plain donna kebab, but I like that they've done something different with this. And they've got, like I said before, they've got a ton of flavors. So I've gone for the stir fry and I've gone for the donchos, but they've got, like I said, like a naga one. They've got a jalfrezi donna. They've got a madras donna. So there's a lot for you to actually look through and choose. So what I'll do actually is put the menu in the description. So this is what I've chosen because that's what I think looks really cool. And I asked the guys, I said, you know, what do you suggest? They suggest this. However, look at the menu yourself, guys, make your own choice. But all I can say is this is awesome. Okay, so lots more food to go, but just before I do that, I realized they actually gave me a mocktail. It's a mojito, but it's called a no heat, I would imagine, because it's obviously, obviously got no alcohol in it, so. Most people don't know I absolutely love mojitos, but a lot of takeaways don't serve them, so as a consequence, I don't really review many because not many places serve them. Uh, the last place I went to that had a mocktail was my chilies. They're really good, but this is tasty. Check these guys out, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so looking at the burgers, they're intimidating your boy a little bit. They are massive, they're colossal. They look like they are bursting with flavor. I think I'm gonna go for the Jalfrezi burger first because that actually caught my eye a little bit. So what they've done is they've got their double patty burger and they've actually added their own Jalfrezi sauce. So that should sort of give it a different sort of level of flavor really. I, I must admit, I'm a little bit of a purist with burgers. I like my burgers plain. However, sometimes it's nice to actually have just an injection of flavor. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Ignore what I just said. I think I actually prefer that. The Jaffrezi has got a lovely kick to it. But again, what I like is it is a good amount of spice there, but it's not overpowering. I don't like when food just completely overpower me and all I can taste is spice. That is a pretty darn good burger. And again, just so different. I applaud these guys for trying something different. Combining two flavors that, frankly, I'm not seeing combined anywhere else. Just before I move on to the other things, so I've had quite a lot of spicy food. I think I'm gonna have a Biscoff milkshake because like I said, my mouth is a little bit tingly. Not super, super, super spicy, because I can take spice, okay? But <laughs> Do you know what's really funny? A few years ago, no one did Biscoff. It just wasn't a thing. I'd always see it in supermarkets, like the bottom shelf. You'd see like a tin of, of, or a jar of Biscoff. No one did it, but the last, say, maybe three, four years, it has blown up. Kind of the same thing happened about 10, 15 years ago on um, salted caramel. If you watch Come Dine With Me, which I love, I remember no one knew what salted caramel was. It seemed to be a posh thing. People would have it. And other contestants would be like, ooh, what's this? That was about 15 years ago. Now that is everywhere. Same with Biscoff. It's everywhere, but it's delicious. Next thing I'm gonna have is this hefty box here. This is the loaded naga box. So there's some donna meat there, there's some jalapenos, there's some salad like cucumber. They've got their own sauce. They've obviously got naga on there as well. On a bed of cheesy chips. This is just, again, a massive, massive portion. If the other donna dishes are anything to go by, this will be tasted too. Oh, look at that. Oh, that just looks beautiful. I love the addition of cucumbers to that. It just adds a little bit of freshness. That is absolutely... I, when I saw these girls on social media, I saw Donna, I saw burgers. For some reason, in my head, I pictured the burgers. I completely skipped the Donnas, but they are absolutely amazing. Guys, this Donna dish gets a hey man for sure. That's two already. The layering of flavors here is really, really good because, for example, there you've got a bit of spice. You've got a little bit of acidity from the jalapenos as well. You've got cucumbers to add a little bit of freshness to. You've got some cheese just to sort of make it slightly milder. You've got textures going on. You've got some crunch, you've got some softness. They just, it's a really good marriage of flavors and textures. That is a fantastic dish. Do you know what though? 
so far MVP on the Donchos. These are so unique, so different. Oh man, I'm absolutely in love with these. I never thought to combine them, so whoever thought of that at this place, genius, absolute genius. Okay, I've actually got another mocktail. This one's actually, I believe, a passion fruit one. So let's try this. Quite like this one. I think because I'm such a mojito fan, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm always on that clear way mojito flavor. I'm always on that. But I, I sort of veer towards that one, but that's, that's pretty good as well. What I'm gonna do is now move on to, they've got a really, really, really big burger staring at me. I think I'm gonna attack that because there is some actual, there's some turkey bacon going on there. There's a chicken fillet. Let me just show you guys, it looks awesome. So let me just take this out of its box. Like I said, absolutely massive, right? Look at this, there's so much going on there. It looks phenomenal. Okay, so up next is the Naga Tower Burger. This bad boy's been staring at me from the corner of the table. Don and me in there. You've got a couple of slices of, looks like American cheese to me. There's some turkey bacon. There's a chicken fillet in there with their Naga sauce as well. It looks absolutely wicked. And it's actually on a black bun too. I feel like I need to prepare myself for this. Let's give it a go. I'm pretty surprised to be honest because I thought there'd be a weak link somewhere because the menu is quite wide, but that, it's phenomenal. The chicken is soft, but the batter is crispy. You guys have been following me for a while. I like, for example, if you've got a spicy fillet burger, you know, sauce on there, make it spicy, make it saucy, but I still want a bit of crunch in the batter. Really hard to achieve. That does that. The Donna, like on the other dishes, is absolutely fantastic. I'm loving the Naga. That is a really solid burger. And I'm normally a purist. I normally like either just a spicy chicken burger with just a bit of cheese or like a beef burger on its own, but that has converted me actually, that is fantastic. So I would happily recommend this. It's big too. I like the fact that they've got a bit of turkey bacon in there just to add a little bit of smokiness to it. Just again, another element of flavor, which I think these guys do really well. You can see they've really thought about actually all their flavor combinations. That works very well. There's so much delicious food here. I realized I didn't even try the chips. I didn't even try them. Skin on fries. These with a doner kebab. Perfect. You know, chips are just chips, you know, they're, they're pretty good, but the actual meats and stuff that you're gonna pair them with, they're the stars of the show, frankly. The other stuff like the burgers, the donchos, the doner, absolutely fantastic. Pair them with this. Before you guys go anywhere, I always forgot the actual animal fries. So you've got a bed of fries, some caramelized onions, there's some American cheese and their own house sauce again. So let me try this. I've got a bit of a checkered past actually with loaded fries because the only issue sometimes I have with them is when you put a load of stuff that's hot on top of fries, the fries lose their crunch. That's just a personal thing, but I know you guys love stuff like that. A lot of people love loaded fries, they're super popular. These are called the animal fries. The sauce is nice, the chips are good. I like the caramelized onions, but again, I'm just one of those guys that if I'm gonna get like a really flavorful donut kebab, I would honestly rather get a plain portion of fries that retain their crunch to pair with something like a burger. That's just a personal opinion. If you like loaded fries, I think you'll enjoy them. They're not for me. So something I'm gonna mention, I wasn't going to, but I think I will. Their sauces, they're actually all made in house. Now, generally, because the food here is so packed full of flavor, a lot of it's saucy. For me, it's perfect. I probably wouldn't, for example, I wouldn't add a load of chili sauce on top of a very spicy, delicious dish anyway. I feel like it takes away from the flavor. However, again, I know a ton of you like to do some of that stuff. So if you want to try their sauces, they're all actually made in-house, homemade, all made fresh. All right guys, so I wharfed down half that food. It's absolutely phenomenal. These guys are new and they're making waves. And honestly, I can see why they're absolutely fantastic. I would highly recommend these guys. If you're fancying some Naga inspired dishes for sure, if you fancy some like good Donna meat dishes for sure, their burgers were good as well. Again, highly, highly recommend. They've got a couple of Heymans and you guys know that's reserved for places that I really, 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 really love. Like nine out of 10 is where you get a Heyman. So check these guys out. Guys, if you want to see more, there should be a video somewhere on the screen. If you click on that, that'll take you to the next video. So make sure to check that out. Like this video, like that video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.